Now we have a launch, a brand new launch of a brand new one day special and it is by June Taylor. Now it is one company that to me means a lot because that's how I started my first quilting project. And actually the person who taught me mm -hmm. how to use it is here and he's just gonna demonstrate it and show us all what we can do. So Sarah is here from, of course, the, you might recognize it from our White Gecko shows. How are you, Sarah? I'm really well, thank you. How are you, lovely? I'm very well, Good. very excited because I I love, well, everything that you touch is always amazingly oh, designed. And, <laughs> but you like things that make life easy as well, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. We like to sort of bring craft into everybody, really, and, you know, um, bring products that mean that if you've never touched crafting before, if you've never touched sewing before, not crafting, sorry, if you've never touched sewing before, these products anybody can have a go with. You can hand sew them or machine sew them, and they're, they're designed, it's, it's paint by numbers, but for quilting. Absolutely. <laughs> now, can you tell us about a little bit about June Taylor? Because uh, some, I mean, I obviously know the name and many of you at home do, but some may not know what June Taylor is, what the company is. Yeah, so um, they, they're an American company um, and they've been around for years, um, decades now. Um, and one of the very first products was like the, the cut and press board, which I still use a lot now. Yeah. I, I, I use it all the time. I've got one here, use them at home. And they sort of then went into like the shape cut rulers and, and all that sort of thing. And then, but more recently, it's all about the pre-printed wadding and how we can get more and more people quilting. Um, and they, this, they, they sort of came up with this idea of printing onto the wadding and using that step-by-step -step system um, to make things easier. That's, that's exactly it. I mean, I obviously didn't get the cosmetic bag, but I did get a uh, pre-printed wadding and it makes life so much easier. Now, you don't need to be a beginner. You don't need to be an expert. You can be just somebody in between. Uh, but it, it, this is the beauty of pre-printed pre -pre wadding <laughs> uh, because it kind of makes it a, a project that could be complicated very easy or not even easy. It's just fast as well. It is really, really fast. So if you want... a you know, something you're making a present or you want to make a you know, like a baby quilt for a shower or something like that you know it's really really nice and easy nice and quick to do but if you are more experienced I'm I'm going to show you in some of the demos we're going to do over the next few shows um, how you can change the products and how you can actually um, sort of make them your own as well so you don't have to just do that step by step Absolutely. you can sort of like yeah. tweak them tweak them and make your, them your Absolutely. own. Absolutely. Right, so of course the one day special is the pre-printed wadding to create, and this is the beauty of it, two cosmetic bags. Now, uh, how, which fabrics you are going to use depends up to you. However, you are included, you have included one of these zippers. Now, those zippers, you have to choose whichever color you want. You are going to get one with it. Now, I would say if you want the gray, jump ahead and check out those baskets because we don't have any more stock of any of the options and grey I know is a very popular in-demand colour and also it means that if you get you know like the grey is very good neutral also what is it a pre-zone zipper what is so special about them yeah so the the one special you actually get two you get two bags in it and you get two zips yeah. as well you've got two one one a large zip and a small yeah. zip and the zippity do done zips are just this really really brand new innovative way of sewing in a zip you don't need to be scared of it it's one line of sewing um, I don't know if you can Hala can show you but th it's one line of sewing and I'm going to show you it in the demo one little line of sewing right down the edge and it, it goes in instantly it, I mean 30 seconds and a zip is put in you can then decorate the zips you can add fabric to them you can use your decorative stitches or oh, if you're just a beginner you can just sew the zip in and it's, it's done immediately so basically this we put the fabric between and uh, the wadding yeah in between them in between the, those bias the pieces on the edge and well, that's it top stitch it and it's done yeah it's genius so, quick. so, so uh, quick. now <laughs> of course you are getting two of them now this is what i love about these one day special is that we all are busy with life. It doesn't matter whether we are home because it's homeschooling, because we are working from home and therefore everything kind of seems to take longer, whether you know you have, but the joy of quilting, the joy of sewing, make it easy, make it fast. This is what the one day is special. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's, and these, this one, these product in particular, um, it is exclusive to you guys as well. Ooh. Nobody else in the UK has got it at the moment. They, they will eventually. 
um, but these are the first first sort of batch that's been been into the UK. So this and is I, I snaffled yeah. them quickly. <laughs> well, the, 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 that's a very good uh, thing. Now you can multi buy, but of course you could multi buy. Say, for instance, get one in. I would go one in grey, one in red, and one in black, maybe because you want to do sets. For instance, Christmas presents, uh, Mother's Day as well. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, they're so quick. You'd get, get these t done in time for Mother's because Day. Because although they are based in America, I believe this is dispatch uh, from the UK. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're dispatched from my little shop. <laughs> so basically, you don't have to wait ages for them. So this is, makes a lot of sense. You are saving six pounds. Remember, you can go for more than one, and you are just paying twenty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And I also love the idea, and this is why I fell in love with, um, you know, the pre-printed batting from June Taylor, is the quality, but also the fact that I could choose my liberty fabrics as well yeah. with them yeah. uh, you can use whatever moda maybe which by the way we do both have liberty and moda as well now if you want your fabulous june taylor uh, sewing as your go please cosmetic bags please check out your baskets we are very busy and remember once the options for the different zip color zippers are gone that's it so if you wanted a gray or the black or the red, please make sure to check out your baskets. 030570 is your item number for the one day special. Shop ahead though on the website, you can see a lot more. I did a uh, you know, hint at those Liberty fabrics. We have the White Gecko Liberty oh, li line bento bag. That's a fabulous pattern and fabulous print. I have to say, Sarah has such a knife for color that every bundle that she puts together is just lush. Uh, as well, you have those White Gecko called Moda Grunge Fat Quarters. I am a massive fan of the Grunge Fat uh, you know, Moda. Uh, now there is different options. You are getting five and they look at those five star reviews for just $10.99. Grab yours while there is all the different options, blues, pinks and greens options there for you. There is other June tail, of course, quilt as you go. Uh, there is a Savvy Spray, uh, spray Stripes, not the sprays. Uh, the, <laughs> I don't know where I was going then. Now, a lot of it is once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, I believe almost everything is once it's gone, it's gone. But yes, and I started saying yeah. yes. So <laughs> please, if you see any June Taylor there that you want, check out your baskets. That would be my recommendation to not miss out. <gasps> Pillar, yeah. Oh, look at those lock heavens as well. I love that. Oh, I see, I could have it all because I just <laughs> love how easy it is. Oh, and the shade cocktail roller. Oh, well, this is an expensive show, isn't it? But first, <laughs> before we go any further, we want to see how the one day special, how we put it together. So Sarah, how do we do it? Yeah, so I've got a full sort of um, step by step here for you. Um, each of the kits come with really, really good instructions. You've got a full printed out pattern there. It tells you exactly what sizes to cut. You know, it'll tell you exactly, you know, piece one and six, all the different sizes are on there. And then you've got full instructions, which, and they're really, really comprehensive. They also do great YouTube videos. Um, Jill Rep, who, um, it sort of is June Taylor representative. Um, she's got some amazing videos on um, like YouTube and stuff yeah. that you can follow along. So if you're unsure, but it's so, so simple. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out your pre-printed wadding and you've obviously got one, one for each side. Okay, so you've got one on each side and they're all numbered. You can see they're quite clearly numbered on there. You're going to use your basting spray and you're going to spray the wadding and put it to, onto your backing fabric. So we're just going to grab a little yeah. bit of the basting spray yeah. and this is a fab stuff. And that's another product by June Taylor, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the June Taylor basting spray. Okay. Um, I would starch my fabric as well, my backing yeah. fabric. Which it does help it. You use the starch savvy. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, is the, the one I use savvy, as yeah. well. We have uh, that on the show as yeah. well. I absolutely love it. It is. It's, it just gives a crispness back to the fabric, yeah. um, which just makes cutting easier and sewing easier. I think the press as well is much easier, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Very much so. So you're going to spray the back of your wad in and just smooth it down, okay? And you're gonna do that on both of both sides of your bag okay. once you've cut them out. And you're gonna cut it out, you're not gonna cut it out on the blue line, you're gonna cut it out with a little sort of half inch all the way round, okay? And then you get to choose your fabrics, then you get to play around and decide what fabrics you're gonna use. So we're gonna do this one all in blues. It tells you on the pattern exactly what size to cut, piece number one, piece number two, etc., etc. You're gonna line up your piece number one to cover your number one square like that, okay? Piece number two is gonna go right sides together. So it will eventually end up there, but you're gonna put it right sides together like that. 
and you can see that the fabric actually lines up on the blue lines. They're placement lines rather than stitch lines. Okay, um, It's very like foundation paper piece in this method and normally your lines would be your stitch line but with this it's not, it's a placement line. You want to pin it in okay, and just pin it in gently. You don't need to use a lot of pins. I mean, once you've done a few of these, you don't yeah. even really need to use pins. But if you've never done one before, yeah. start by pinning. And then you're going to stitch down a quarter of an inch. OK, you're going to stitch down a quarter of an inch along from the edge of that fabric. Right. Once you've done that one, so I'll put this one over. What will happen? So I've stitched down a quarter of an inch there. Mm -hmm. Now, all of those seam allowances have been worked out for you in the pattern. If you cut the size of the fabric exactly as it says yeah. in the pattern, the seam allowances are included. So when you flip that one out and ah, finger press yeah. it, it will sit directly over number two. Yeah. And it should hit the placement line here. Okay. So they are placement uh, lines, not sewing, sewing lines. lines. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I wouldn't put an iron on it either. I would just finger press it. Okay. Um, and because it's cotton wadding, and if you put too much heat on it, it can stretch and sort of warp it, so hence, I would just Hence why it's really good to go for the uh, starching first. Yeah, because absolutely, you, yeah. yeah. So if you starch your fabrics before you cut them, that finger pressing is much, much crisper. It's Fabulous. really nice. You would then, you can see I'm going to move on to number three. So I would add this one on again, right sides together, pin it in place, mm -hmm. and you would flip out like yeah. that. Number four. So it really is like quilt by numbers, just like you, you know, paint by numbers, that sort of thing and you just follow your numbers out. Okay, so I'm gonna move that one out of the way. And you can see it just gradually builds yeah. up like that. And I would add my six, five and six on the ends there. And then you would carry on and carry on until you've completely covered. Wow. Okay, so once I've done these ones here, I'd add on number seven, yeah. which is this top piece here. Absolutely. Number eight on the bottom, and yeah. then there's a little skinny one right at the bottom there. Oh. You would repeat that for the other side. So you would just keep following along and repeat it. Okay. Once you've done that, once you've kind of done all the sewing, you end up with that thing that looks a little bit scruffy in all at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks lovely. It looks yeah. like, a, you know, I mean, the fabrics are It doesn't gorgeous. look much yeah. like a cosmetic purse at the minute, <laughs> it though, no. That, that for sure <laughs> does not look like it. <laughs> you're going to cut it out, okay? So you're going to follow the line that you've sewn and cut it out, yeah. okay? You end up with two sides. So you end up with two matching pairs like okay. that. I would zigzag, or if you've got on your sewing machine an overcast stitch, if you, you know, or an overlocker, you know, you could use your overlockers if you've got them, but you don't need them by any means. You can just zigzag all the way around, or even use pink and shears if you want. It just helps keep all the fabrics nice and stable. Okay, and then this is where the zippy bit comes in. Ooh. This is the fun bit. <laughs> okay, so on the zip. It actually opens up, so you can see you've got my zip piece here. Yeah. Don't go too far, you don't want your pull to come off the end, yeah. okay? Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to open it up just here, like mm -hmm. that, and then we're going to add this piece in, and we're going to sandwich it between the two pieces of the zip. So I'm going to pop it in like that, okay? And make sure it's butted right up against the edge, yeah. okay, like that. And you would pin this into place. So I'm going to pin this in wood pin in but my pin's just bent I managed to pick up a silk pin there which is really uh, <laughs> really flimsy so just line that one up the other little thing you want to think about is when you're putting these either side is that you're lining them up here as well right okay yeah so make sure that when you when you pop it in you haven't sort of gone gone too yeah. far or anything you want to think about where you're lining it up on this side as well so we're going to pop those in and you'll just pin them into place and then you'll take them over to your sewing machine and then you're going to, all you're going to do is top stitch down this very yes, edge yes. here. Literally yeah. just straight the way down all this edge here. Now you can do that in a coordinating uh, thread, which I've done on this side. Mm -hmm. I should have probably done it in a, a different colour so you could see it actually. <laughs> no, but actually I really love that you have done it like this because you can make it so it completely blends yeah. in. So that's a look that if you want it to look like that, it's perfectly Absolutely. so you can yeah. see it there. You're going to stitch down both sides and that zip is now, would, will, will be completely, I'll give you, show you this one, yeah. completely in, okay, like that. Mm -hmm. You can see as well that on this one, we've done a little bit of decorative stitching too. So you Lovely. can add that in, it's a perfect opportunity to play around with your machine, use yeah. all those stitches that we've all got that we never use. Alphabet, <laughs> alphabet the stitches. Yeah, oh that would be lovely. You could, yeah, if you had an alphabet on your machine, yeah. you could just, you could Spell add somebody's name, name exactly. or something in there yeah. if it was for a present, all sorts of things. 
The other thing you want to do at this stage as well is just sew across the edge of the zip. So you're literally just going to sew backwards and forwards about three or four times on both edges of the zip and that just stops the zip coming off the edge. Okay, like that. Nearly there, okay? I mean, yeah. as, as quickly as I'm doing this, it's, 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 as, it's as easy as that. You're then going to fold, sorry, should have shown you this one. You're then going to fold it in half from by the zip like that. So I've got that zip right at the very, very top and I've lined up all my edges. And you're going to stitch from the top here, so not the actual zip, but right from the very, very edge up here. You're going to stitch all the way down, yeah. all the way down the side here. You're not going to stitch these corner pieces, okay? I'm going to do the same this side, all the way down, just a quarter of an inch seam allowance yep. and along the bottom, right. okay? One trick that I learnt when I was doing them is make sure that your zip is open. Uh, <laughs> why? Because you can't turn them the right way out oh, if you're not. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's a good point. <laughs> so I stitched mine all up and closed up the, the corners, which I'll show you in a second, but I'd left the zip shut yeah. and I couldn't turn it through because she can't get hold yeah. of the zip pull and we had to kind of pick and pick at it to try and get oh. it open. Did you manage? Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it, yeah. If you do do forget to do it, you can do it. You can quite gradually get that over. But yeah, just if you make sure it's open, much, much easier. Absolutely. <laughs> so you've stitched down those side pieces and across the bottom and then you're going to box your corners. Okay, and what I mean by that is you're going to pop your fingers in with these little cutouts, yeah. line up your side seam yeah. with your bottom seam and I would open those out yeah. and just line them all up and pin them or clip them. I actually find clips much easier yeah, at this it point. It flattens them up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it does, yeah. Too. And then you're just going to stitch a quarter of an inch straight across there, which is what we've done here. And you can see we've just stitched right the way across there. And I'm going to leave that clip on there because then you can turn the whole bag inside out, or rather right side out at this point. Pop your fingers in those corners and just push them out. I won't push that one out too much because it's only got a clip on it. All the way up. And your bag is Look done. Look at that. How gorgeous. And I, you Ooh. know what? Uh, I have to say that the style of this bag is just so useful because, yes, it's a cosmetic bag. It could be for makeup, yeah. it could be, but it could be to, I mean, this, the smaller one could be for your mask, maybe, and yeah. your hand sanitizer, oh, yeah. you know, and your handbag, maybe, yeah. or the one that you have in the car as well with yeah. those extra. Perfect for like um, little craft kits as well. So if you're doing like English paper piecing or something like that, you could pop like all your little hexes, you've thread, little, little pair of scissors and it's you know keep it in the glove box so Absolutely. you've always got a bit of sewing with you Absolutely. <laughs> and of course you have and that's got the, the big one, one. Yeah. yeah so you get both sizes in the pack you've got your large one and your small one Absolutely perfect. Right, of course, that's the one that, and I mean, I love how you have shown us a step by a step uh, <laughs> because that makes it so much easier. Thank you so much for Sarah. Uh, while well, you reset for the next demo, you know what? Uh, the one that is special, incredibly busy. Now, remember, it is uh, the As You Go uh, zippered cosmetic bags. Uh, Cosmantel includes pre sewn zippers. Remember, you choose whichever color you want to, and then, of course, that, and make sure that you check out your basket because some of the options are very, very, very big busy and once they are gone are gone i believe uh the favorite is black oh i'm not surprised i do like a little bit of black uh now 24 pounds and 99 pence is your price you are saving six pounds look at the bags you can make now the thing is that you will be able to choose whichever fabric you have at home the other thing I know from doing quilt as you go from June Taylor is that it's perfect to use the scraps why because you are using the smaller pieces you're not using massive pieces that then you have to now if you have a box of scraps this is perfect to use them of course go for the amazing uh, bundles that we have got today you know moda grunge and moda the beautiful patterns however it's also a good way to use those be, uh, you know pieces that you have of those collections but more importantly it's such a joy to quilt as you go if you are a beginner this is you know this is how i started and trust me it's so easy you can, may not ever have done any quilting this you will be so proud i mean i'm so proud of what i achieved the other thing is that maybe you are a very experienced uh, quilter 
but you want a, a fast project to make it, maybe use the, what you have already, like little pieces of fabric, or maybe you are somebody who is, you know, maybe a little, you have done a little bit of quilting, but you have never done a bag. Having something that is super easy because you just follow the steps as Sarah has shown us, that makes a lot of sense. I personally think this is a phenomenal, a phenomenal one day special because for 24 pounds and 99 pence, you will end up with one bag that uh, you will be so proud of. And it will be completely unique because you will choose which fabrics go with. And remember, there is six different options with the zippers, colors, but black is very, very popular as is or, the, as, or all the other colors, right? Make sure to check out your baskets. Z030570 is your item number. I have a shrunk, haven't I? Ah, well, it's just, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, we have, next up, we have Quilt As You Go. This is the Colorado Lock Cabin, $11.99. Colorado, that seems a very, very affordable price for what it looks a really big piece in here. Uh, what, uh, is it this is one? That yeah, one that yeah. one is the right one. Yeah. Now, this is a, this is a really nice size. Can I, I'm gonna put it in here because otherwise you will not see anything. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, just should have, Look at that. Yeah. It's just phenomenal. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What is a Colorado log cabin? Um, so I, w I'm a log cabin is, is that actual yeah. pattern. It's a type of quilt pattern. Um, and it's one of their express, the Jean Taylor Express quilts. Oh. So it's done, it's what they called it a Colorado lo log cabin. I think they have a lot of log cabins in Colorado, maybe. Oh, I don't know. But a log cabin is that, does that type of design. It's a very, very traditional one. Yeah. Um, and it's, it makes a beautiful little lap quilt. It's done in 12 seams. It genuinely, you could do that and the whole thing in an afternoon. It's a couple of hours sewing. There's only 12 seams to it. It'll take you longer to put the binding on yeah. than it will to actually sew the Absolutely, quilt. Yeah. Or choose the fabric. Oh yeah, that and might that be the, I yeah. I found that <laughs> what it took me so long to, to, not so long, I mean, I did it probably about in a week or something and it was my first project and it was a different one. Uh, it, it's just because, choosing the fabrics. It yeah. was like, oh, should I do this block like this? I, you know. Uh, now, eleven ninety nine is your price. Brand new today. If you want yours, grab it. Uh, 154 or 234. Very, very busy. Remember that once they are gone, the June Taylor products are gone. And uh, no, over 20% of the stock has already gone. We just, basically, you have been shopping ahead. <laughs> so if you want yours, please check out your basket. Now, we, we have, uh, no, we, oh, for a product. I was trying to really, it's like the product, you put, put it flat. I was like, what? Put it flat. <laughs> yes, we got there. I just take it some time. Confusing you. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should be used then. Now, we need to come to these ones because they are very, very busy. Now, here we're, we have three options. Uh, now, grunge, uh, you know, moda grunge, one of my favorites yeah. but why do you like it so much it's just such a versatile blender i mean it's it because it's got that sort of slightly distressed fin yeah. finish and they use lots of different colors in in each in each color fabric they've there's like lots of different shades of colors within it it goes with so much and it's moda quality which is just fantastic um it's you know i i love the grunge i love it as a blender it's it goes into most of my projects. Absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's one of those blenders that you never get higher because it's a pure blender in terms of, mm -hmm. you know, solid color. But having that distress, like you were saying, it just adds that interest. Now, we have got three different options. You can say the blue, the pink, and the green. Uh, now, let's, shall we look at the greens first? Now, you are getting, I think this is a proper apple green. It is. It's lovely. Really lovely apple green there. Yeah. Then we have a bit more of what I call a Spanish moss, just because one of the inks pads that they're yeah. calling it, because it has that luminosity, mustardy sort yeah. of tone in yeah, here. Yeah, sort of a lime colour, I think. I yeah, think so yeah, yeah, or chartreuse as well. Then we have, oh, this would be a proper mossy colour, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with a little bit more grey in it. A traditional green forest like green. a Christmas green isn't it it's yeah, like that absolutely. proper sort of yeah. green green yeah. <laughs> and then we have what I would call this maybe a more the forest green this one maybe Christmas green and then forest green yeah. in there absolutely now the green option over a quarter of the stock already gone 10.99 is the price you're saving five pounds remember moda quality moda fabrics in here that we are talking about then we have the pink so we have a proper hot pink yeah it's but lovely isn't it 
But you know, hot pink, I would never go, like, it's one of those colors that scares me a little bit, but not when it's grunge. Yeah, because you've got those slight gra graduation, that's yeah. variation in color. It's not like in your face, but it's still absolutely. just a really lovely, vibrant color. Indeed. Put and it with some navy or something. Can yeah, gorgeous. absolutely. Then we have like a, I would say, dusky pink. Maybe? It's called, I think it's called ballet slipper. A that ballet one. slipper. Ballet That's slipper. absolutely. Yeah. 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 Then this is more like, I would say, more of a coral. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a vermilion coral. Yeah, pink. vermilion. Yeah, yeah more, absolutely. More orange tone. Blush pink. Yeah, I'd say it's blush. It's very, very pale, really pretty. Yeah. And then there's one a kind of salmon -y, Yeah, like a know, salmon pink. Sal yeah. Salmon pink yeah, as well. And then, so that's a pink option. Mm -hmm. It's now, it's approaching 40% of the stock. If the pink is what you want, you know what to do. Check out your baskets. And I'm going to just do this. I'm going to put it there. <laughs> and then the blue is in the lead, approaching half the stock. You know what to do if you want it and you don't want to miss out. You have that kind of, this is a, a beautiful i would say cobalt blue maybe yeah it's it reminds me of like that sort of greek blue you know that really Ooh, sort of yes. you know when you go on yeah. greek, a green lovely greek holiday mm, when no. we get to go on Mykonos, holiday yeah Mykonos blue sort <laughs> absolutely, of absolutely yeah. yeah that's yeah, it's got absolutely. that depth of color yeah whether this is more of grimsley bay sort of blue <laughs> <laughs> but it's a beautiful blue it it's is, more just, a gray blue it's a beautiful yeah definitely yeah, a gray blue not gray. a blue blue <laughs> and this is mallorca oh waters oh. you know they're blue you know and then we are here oh i love this man this is london sky so you can it see is. you know yeah. i love that it's very sophisticated and then of course you could go and then finally we have aqua so maybe the caribbean or something oh like yeah that. maldives or something like that oh <laughs> Shall we go to the Maldives? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> if you want, now, a uh, blue is now 60% of the stock gone. If that's the option you wanted to do, you know what to do. Check out those <coughs> baskets. Ten ninety nine is the price for five fat quarters of Moda Grunge. Uh, grunge and uh, one seven seven nine five three uh, four is your item number. Pause. There it is. Then we have, I just, I'm so bad at following instructions. Oh my God. Uh, then we have the quilt <coughs> pattern. <coughs> here with the jelly roll let me grab it uh, by mod uh, uh, the moda is the manufacturer of the fabric but the white gecko is the designer of the instructions which this is this is white gecko is your brand isn't it it is yeah absolutely yeah so and with all of our pre-cuts we tend to do a little little pattern with it just to give people some inspiration you know something they can do with that product and that means that you have got a quilt pattern that you could do with this pre-cut or you maybe you can uh, the beautiful jelly rolls or maybe you can do it with uh, something else. Right, if you want to go for this bundle, uh, we do have a sample, so let me grab it, let me see where it is. <laughs> now it's got there. Uh, it's a little, little bit further up. Uh, there yeah. we go. <laughs> that was, that's the one, mm. that's the one, right? So all three items, so oh, there's, okay. So what we did was use um, three Jean Taylor products. So that's the London Labyrinth quilt. There's also um, one of the bags and placemats all out of that one jelly roll. Wow. So you, it was just to show you how much, how much fabric you actually get in a jelly roll. Um, you, can, you can get three full projects out of that one jelly roll. Absolutely. Now I'm going to put it in here, <laughs> so I think that's easier anyway. Uh, so then I'm going to uh, show you the other. So what I'm really, sh not sure, but I would say really impressed by is the fact that usually when you use a jelly roll, you have very characteristic colors that kind of they tell the story. With these, you have softer colors, vibrant colors, yeah. and yeah. you have so much in here to use with your project. Because, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm using uh, old fingers and thumbs today. Uh, but you can see in here that you have that zestiness, that yeah. summer vibe it's in lovely, here. It's lovely, yeah. And Sandra, who made the, um, the, pa the, uh, plus the samples for us, yeah. can't get my words out today, all excited about holidays. Oh, yeah, so that's, what, that's <laughs> um, it. That's she made it. the samples for us, and so she picked and sort of went through the jelly roll and picked out the colours that went together to make the, make the different ones. But the 30, it's called 30s Playtime, so it's got that lovely sort of vibrant... Um, sort of flower sack type feel to it. It does. I mean, I'm going to show you this one again because, you know, you can see how different it looks yeah. each project. And of course, that is all done with one jelly roll with that 30s playtime, uh, you know, beautiful pattern by Moda. £35.99 is your price. 262068 is your item number. Now, that's a jelly roll. We have also a charm pack. Now, there are, uh, you can see three different options in here. Uh, now we have on the go maryland and the last one is sophie oh it's hard to choose this one mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so the on the go is like lovely little, um, you've got like, like little transport theme, very much sort of designed with kids in mind. Um, yeah, you've got some really pretty, you've got little planes and there's road maps and all in there. The Maryland one is much sort of more adult, sophisticated colours, so it's all like greys and blacks and sort of lovely camely colours. And then the Sophie is a really, really pretty floral. Oh, You've got pinks and sort of chartreuses in there and just gorgeous, gorgeous colours in there. And the thing is, if we go for this, one of these options, would we be able to do, I mean, I know that there is a strip in, in, in this larger, well, in the cosmetic bags, but mm -hmm. if we join them together, could we use them as a stripe for the one day special? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, in that first little bit that I was showing you, it yeah. was two and a half inch squares. Yes. So those are five inch squares, so you could cut those down. You'd get four two and a half out of one five inch square. So you could use them and then you could sew them together to get the strip pieces. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So you would have more than that. So it's fabulous. It would work so well, wouldn't it? Uh, 15 99 is your price, obviously. And then you choose your favourite. If you, if you want Maryland, that with the black zipper would look amazing. 089417 is your item number. Right, we have got more. And remember to check out those baskets because once they are gone, they are gone, especially when we are talking about June Taylor. Now, this bundle, I was really, well, Catherine Sorok and myself, we kind of were drawn, like, you know, like <laughs> it, it was like, you know, the, um, the, the one who played oh, the, the Pied Piper. Yeah, <laughs> it was this, this for us, was it? And now we have got six different options, beautiful different options from it's Liberty it fabric. It is Liberty fabric, yeah. It's so <laughs> stunning, I love it. Uh, so the first option we are going to have here, lo looking at that, uh, you can see here is the, is, I believe this one is the t black and teal. Uh, so we have another of the zippers. Yeah, so in the kit you've got one of the zippers, you've got a metre of Liberty fabric in four colourways. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's a meter total. You've got one of the Jean Taylor pre-printed wadding squares and you've got vinyl and it makes a project wallet. Wow. Uh, so you're basically you're choosing which colour fabrics you want because the rest of it's all, all you know, the, the wadding and the vinyl is, is the same. That is phenomenal. Look, let, me, let me show you the uh, project because uh, you can see it here. Now this is amazing. So we have the easy zipper here to yeah. put it in. We have, of course, we can put it all the pro all, all the fabric in here, and this could be like we are working on the cosmetic bag. All yeah. the bits are going. So you in could here. put it all in there. Yeah, if you're working on a block of the month or something like that type project, you could have all your fabrics or your completed blocks or something in there. You know, if you like to be really organised with your crafting, you know, you could be you could be a paper crafter and maybe you want to keep a certain set of stamps or something in them. You know, and maybe get a sewing friend to make you one. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's it's they've got so many uses. And uh, the thing is, like for instance, if you are struggling for space to to store things this would be something like a wall hanging that also you turn it over yeah. and it's a storage <laughs> hidden yeah. behind it yeah you could put a little hook on them you could yeah. actually hang them up on like a pegboard or something absolutely and keep it I, yeah. I absolutely love this project now this is the black and teal option and then we have the blue I believe there's a blue and navy option so what the fabrics are here you can see them absolutely stunning I love the kind of cottagey kind little of houses. Images. Yeah, Again, Liberty Fabrics. Yeah. Now, look at that. I love that. And then we have, is this the Daisy Shadow or? Um, that, yeah, that one is. That's the Wilch Wiltshire Shadow. Oh. Wiltshire Sh is it Wiltshire Shadow? No, no it's Daisy Shadow. Daisy You're right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's the wrong, yeah, wrong one. It, well, it's, it's, <laughs> they are so similar, but they yeah. are different. So kind of, I, kind of. Let me show you the sample of that one because, of course, that you can use that for the list. And then I'm going to put it here so you can see it. Mm. I just. I mean, this could be again. Oh, I know what it, we could also work at. Uh, you know, in the kitchen, so you could have the napkins behind it or something oh, like yeah, this absolutely. as well. So yeah. ready to like a display yeah. behind the door, but yeah. then. You can also, because you've got the same, you've got four fabrics and yeah. there's a quarter of a meter of each. You don't have to do it in that that particular order. Oh. You've got enough. So if you wanted, you know, you preferred like the darker navy in the centre. Yeah. You've got enough fabric there that you can do it in any order that you like. And mm -hmm. one question I have, surely this is not leftovers. That's what's left over, yeah. So you can make a project wallet and you've got all that liberty left over. So yeah, <laughs> there's a lot left over. <laughs> I've been very generous with the kits. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's just like, <laughs> oh, I was like, you are lucky at home that you can check out your baskets, just let me say that. Uh, then we have the other option, the white and pink. Again, uh, beautiful uh, options here. 
you know, a traditional, uh, this is my kind of associating with uh, Liberty Prince yeah. there in the center, and then that daisy shadow as well, in that beautiful coral. And then you have the cottages in there as well. And oh, absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to turn it over so you can see again. And every single option we go for, we get the vinyl. Absolutely, uh, yes, well yeah. In yeah. Here. So the so what you're choosing is your your colour fabric and your zip because everything's got the vinyl and your pattern and your wadding in it. But there is Secret a lot. Of, there is a lot of fabric left over. <laughs> you I could make both. You, you could do two cosmetic bags out of the fabric that's left over from one yeah. of those. I mean, you are guessing one printed one, <laughs> you right? Are, yes. But yeah. you know, you could have enough to do that. I mean, or if you have gone for the one day special, we would have some. You know, quite M a lot. More than enough fabric. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Enough. Well, that is the white and pink. Then we have the tan and orange, which literally has got orange. Is it oranges? It is like oranges yeah. you I can see I them think here yeah. yeah oranges or apricots I yeah. think oranges they look like oranges. let's say oranges you yeah. know and kind of <laughs> I could be either or delicious fruits both of them uh, and of course that let me show you how it's done it's at the bottom oh no that's uh let me, oh here it is hidden mm -hmm. it so again you can choose whichever option you want for and the panel and as well I love this one as a panel because it showcases yeah. a lot the pattern. Yeah, it's such a pretty print and you've got that nice big section of it on the back then. Absolutely. Then if we turn it over, you can see it here as well. Absolutely stunning. And this is very kind of, I don't know, there is something about this colorway that is very warming. It's very, very welcoming yeah. as well. Then we have the gray. So I'm going to show you the gray, uh, like what you are getting. So again, four different fabrics, one meter in total, right? It, it is, is yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can see them here. This, the Catherine was very fond of this one because it's so elegant. It can go with a lot of shabby shape. Absolutely, you know, which yeah. is very, yeah. and it's very kind of, I like it because it's serene. It has got a serenity in there. And of course, if you make something, look at that. It's that beautiful deck of flower in here with those kind of petals. Absolutely stunning. You've got and that really gentle pink in with the grey as well. It's uh, it's beautiful. Really lovely. It's a blush warm pink, yeah. isn't it? And then the other band, I'm going to show you again the, the, the extras that you are going to have left I mean, look at that. I mean, I get very excited because <laughs> it, the thing is, when we do a project like this, which is very useful, but then we have extra material to do something else, it's even better, isn't mm -hmm. it? And is that, that's the thing. This is why the one day special has to, you know, makes me really happy because we can use all those smaller pieces as well. Now, I believe there is one piece missing. There is. I forgot to bring it with me. <laughs> you get Red Liberty with that as well. Oh. So you'll get Red Liberty so you can you can do your binding or, or whichever colourway you want. So, yeah. Is um, this the Wilshire Shadow? That's, this the, one. Wilshire that's shadow, the Wilshire yes. Shadow, yes. So <laughs> you can see it here. This is the rainbow option. And you can see here that the, you are going to get the red that you can see on the binding as well. You are going to get it, that as well. You know, Wilshire Shadow is one of my favorites. In fact, I have purchased some quite a lot from you. <laughs> uh, and that, but it's one of those ones that is perfect for binding as well. As if you uh, want a multi-directional pattern, yeah. if you want to make it simple, uh, this would be perfect for you. £21.99. Those are the options. Grab yours, 979-286 uh, is your item number. The lead is the grey. I'm not surprised. Is You know what? I usually go would have gone for Wilshire Shadow, but for this project, I would have gone yeah. for the grey Yeah, the well. grey is one of my favourites. It's part of the Hesquith House range. Oh, yes. And it's just yummy. Yummy, Absolutely yummy. Absolutely yummy. <laughs> grab your grey, a beautiful uh, option by checking out those baskets. I'm not missing out. Then, as a... Catherine and I, we were kind of lusting over at this mm -hmm. at the bento bag. Uh, now, especially the blue and the teal options. Now, you have three different options. Uh, now, the blue, teal, on, or pink. Again, beautiful Liberty fabric. Yeah, they really are. They're just, I mean, I, I love li Liberty anyway. And the, the Lazenby cotton that they use, it's 100%. It's just this, it's got the most amazing sheen to it. Yeah. It feels really nice to work with. It's just yummy. The sewing <laughs> machines love them. Yes. You know, it's, 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 it's one of the things, because this is why we sew, because we enjoy the whole process from yeah. the moment that we open the fabric and, and having the, the beautiful garden gates here in the shadow, it's just absolutely stunning. But look at that pattern in here with
with the beautiful flowers in those tones. It's everything is absolutely stunning. This is the blue option. Then we are getting the, uh, the well, if you want the teal option, again, beautiful snowdrops, uh, Wilshire Shadow, and then those gorgeous vines at the bottom. And finally, the last option is the pink option here, which is a fabulous, again, corally pink. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. But can we talk about the pattern itself? Because it, this is one of your patterns as well. It isn't is, it? yeah, the little bento bags. So um, you've got more underneath actually. So you yes. can actually make three bento bags from the kits. <gasps> you oh. can make two that size just yeah. by varying which colours you use. And then you can make a little mini one as well, which is slightly, you know, about half that size. So you can oh. actually make, well, two and a half, shall we say, because it's a little diddy one, the, oh, the third well. one. But, but you've got enough fabric in there to make make you know, sort of the two and a half bags. I adore these bags as well because it kind of can be a very different. I'm going to try to, to sit it here. It can sit flat, but it doesn't need to. It could yeah. be a makeup bag as well, or it could be inside of a bigger bag so you can have it with the one day special and have yeah. it inside it and take it yeah. out as if well. If you're a crochet or a knitter, it goes <gasps> over. You can actually hang it over your wrist and have the wool in there and knit away. And it means your wool doesn't run around all over the place and stuff as well. Um, the bento bags, which are, are traditionally Japanese, and they wouldn't have had the little handle piece on them. You would have tied them up over your lunchbox to, to take, you know, take into work or, or take with you. Um, but by adding that little little handle, it just yeah. it's just really nice little project bag. If it is, absolutely. Else. Look yeah. at the little handle in here, but it just is just also makes it a little bit m more substantial. So yeah. kind of you feel more secure. If you want yours, remember, you have got three different options, all Liberty fabrics for £17 and £99. Uh, 4.416 is your item number. Now we have more moda uh, next. So we have them. I'm just going to walk behind. There you can see. Is that okay? So let's say here. Right. So we have have got here two <coughs> different options you are getting half five half meters in here so two and a half meters of moda yeah. fabric absolutely gorgeous now you have the first option here which you can see is the beautiful blues and the beautiful kind of mu it's I like a mustardy gold yeah color, it, it yeah. is absolutely uh, this is the dover uh, well the white cliffs of dover and then of course we have got the blue sky it's the other way around oh it? sorry that's sorry, the other yeah. way around oh that makes <laughs> more of sense the first one is nancy it's called Nancy's Needle. Okay, and then, so yeah. we have uh, we 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 are gonna sort it out because that was uh, wrong on our websites. So we will sort that out. Uh, but then, of course, that if that's the word, that would be the other option, which is Nancy's Needles, which makes sense because I can, now I can see yeah. it more as well. Yeah. yeah, it's sort of that sort of sort of Civil War um, type um, feel into the fabrics as well. It's the you know, the colorways and all are kind of more sort of traditional. Absolutely. Yeah. So, well, whichever option you are going to go for is the same item number. We will have a closer look a a later. 067568 is your item number. £26.99 and pence for two and a half meters of Moda fabric. We have, oh, the white, oh, the fat quarters of Moda grunge. Uh, now they are very busy. 10.99 is your price. You have f three, uh, f three different color options blues, you have greens, you have got pinks, but blue is now limited. Now, remember, we are very busy. If you want them, check out your baskets. 179534 is your item number. Um, it's just beautiful moda fabric that you can blend. Now, pink and green are three quarters, so you, you know what? It's They are going to sell out at this hour, so make sure that you to check out your baskets. Uh, right, and of course, the everything is, you know what? Very busy. Sorry to keep saying the word, but that's <laughs> what it is. Uh, and remember that many items across the board, once they are gone, they are gone. So that makes it you know, even more reason. If you do not like to miss out, do check out your baskets. Also, everything is ready for ready dispatch. You are not, it is in the country. It's not having to wait from abroad. And that makes a difference, doesn't it? Sarah is ready to dispatch all those orders. Well, not Sarah, the team. <laughs> It will be me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it will well. be me uh, and Sir Jane and, right. and, and, uh, and my kids probably in there as well helping. <laughs> right, oh well. It's a family affair. It is very much yeah, so, especially yeah. these days. Right, what are you going to show us next? Um, I thought I'd show you the, um, the bento bag because it's a little bit of like fabric yeah. origami. So, um, but with the bento bags, you can make these any size as you like. The pattern um, actually gives you all the different variations. But um, I'm, we're going to do the medium size that you saw Paula um, holding up in a minute ago. And all I've done is I've cut three nine and a half inch squares and just sewn them together with a quarter inch seam allowance down like that. Okay. 
and then I've got a nine and a half by 27 and a half inch strip mm -hmm. out of my fourth fabric. Okay. It works in any proportion this, as long as the length of it is three times the width. So if this was, you could make a massive shopping bag. So if this was 60 inches this way, it would be 20 that way. As long as it's, it's that one to three ratio, it works. Okay, but again, it's all in the pattern. We're gonna pop these right sides together and we're gonna do some really simple, really quick sewing like that. So pop a couple of pins in just to hold it down just while we whiz round it. And I'm gonna stitch down quarter of an inch all the way round, but we're gonna leave a gap and we wanna leave a gap in this bottom left corner here, okay? You wanna leave sort of a, a three to four inch gap there, okay? So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. I would make sure that you backstitch. Now I tend to start where I want that gap so that I remember to backstitch because you just wanna reinforce it a little bit, okay? So you just want, wanna reverse a bit. Sorry, I'm just gonna move the pedal a second because uh, I haven't taken it down off the shelf. <laughs> and then we're just gonna sew all the way around. So this is, again, really simple sewing. If you're new to, you know, new to sewing as a craft, it's nice and easy. It's straight line sewing. Okay, so we're just gonna go all the way around, which does take a few seconds, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna go all the way around. It is, a, a straight it is just a straight stitch. I tend to sew on about a two and a half inch stitch length. You know, you don't have to do anything particularly difficult with this. Just very, very simple straight line sewing. So, sorry, this is a little bit, little bit dull because it's, just one long line at the moment. <laughs> but we're gonna stitch it all the way around and then we're gonna, what we call, bag it out. We're gonna pull it through that gap that we're gonna leave. And then we're gonna do a little bit of folding, origami mm -hmm. fabric folding, okay? So, all the way down this side, nearly there. <laughs> and down there. Okay. But again, these, these fabrics are so beautiful to work with. They're not quite there. Um, they just stitch through the machine so nicely. They don't tend to fray too much as well. You know, the quality of them is gorgeous. So we're gonna go down this one nearly to the end and down the seam. And I'm just coming up now to where my left, I wanna leave my gap. And I'm gonna leave myself a gap just there and make sure you back stitch again. And that's really the hardest bit of the whole sewing, <laughs> the hardest bit of the whole bag. It's just stitching round those rectangles. And then we're gonna pull through the whole thing. So I would clip my corners, okay? And what I mean by that is we're just gonna go straight across the corner and clip off that excess. And you would do that on all four sides. We're gonna pull through this gap like this, okay? Which Takes just a couple of minutes, you've got to fight it through. Don't, don't leave yourself so small a gap you can't get it through because that you makes hard work for yourself then. Pull it all the way through like this. And we're gonna just poke out those corners. And at the moment, you've just got a glorified scarf or a napkin. <laughs> <laughs> so well, there's not mean, much to it at the moment. Still near. pretty, but well, <laughs> give that a good be. shape. Get that out. <laughs> yeah. And mm. turn through those corners. I'll pop my scissors up into the top there and just get all that out. You could then give this a really good press and I would absolutely use a little bit of starch on this. Sorry, I'm fighting this today. It's uh, playing up. Oh, there we go. That's it. Got it. <laughs> Fabric's fighting back. It doesn't want to turn into a bento bag. <laughs> got it. There we go. So you've got something that looks like that now. Give it a really good press. Yeah. Okay. We're going to fold this into threes. So using this as a stitch, a, a sort of a guideline, these two lines here, we're gonna fold this one over like that, okay? And line up this corner with this little seam there. Pop a pin in, and then we're gonna do a line of stitching from this very corner right the way across to that edge there. And you want to get as close to that top, that edge as you can, yeah. okay? You want to really get as close as you can and I should have pressed this really first, but time constraints and everything, we're going to go for it. So not on the very, very edge. You're going in about a one thirty second of an inch yeah. or something right on the edge. OK, so again, back stitch at the at the edge like that. And go for it right nice, nice and close, right to the edge. Realign if you need to like that. You could pin it if you wanted to as well, that's absolutely fine. 
and again back stitch when you get to that end. There we go. And then there's just one more line of stitching. Okay. We're going to get this, we're going to turn this now. So this is now down on your bottom left. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry about that gap. We get that'll go all disappear when you top yeah. stitch later. You're going to pull this down out of the way. Yeah. It's like an elaborate napkin fold at it the is. moment. It is. <laughs> it is absolutely fascinating, isn't it? And then we're going to pop this corner, yeah. do exactly the same as we did the first Thank one. You. So we're going to put this corner all the way over, fold it that line yeah. there, and it's going over here. Yeah. So fold it over and it's going over to here. Pull this fabric down out of the way. So we've got it right on that very edge. Pop a pin in, and we're going to do one more line of sewing. We're going to just top stitch along that edge again, just like we did a moment ago, in like that. And we're nearly there, we're nearly done. So we're going to go down like this, all the way down, right, right close to the edge again. As close as you can is, is better with this product. And of course, you have, you, you're you using the Vanto bag, which is the teal option. You know, yeah, the teal yeah option, this is the right? teal option, yeah. yeah. So you've got those lovely snowflakes yeah. on it, which I think is beautiful. Okay. Take those pins out and give it a shake, and you can see that bag start yeah. to appear. It, okay, so this is the line in at the moment. So ah. we're going to turn it through like that. Okay, you can see the bag start to appear. Now, you could stop at that point. You could absolutely yeah. stop at that point, and it would be a really beautiful gift yeah. bag if you were giving somebody yeah. and you don't want to yeah. use paper. By but the way, Sarah, we have got about four minutes left. Oh, sorry, show. lovely. Do you want me to? <laughs> no, no, well, what do you want to do? Shall, you, shall, oh. we, shall we recap the one day special? Because, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, now, okay. because uh, now the one day special is very busy. Remember that you can make two bags with this. Uh, you have got two zippers, so you have oh, got so much. I mean, the value is incredible uh, with the one day special. You choosing whichever color you want the zipper on. And remember, you have the printed batting or printed wording ready to do that and to ready to kind of sew it into it it's just such an easy way to do two bags now of course you will use whatever fabrics you have at home or you can go for some of the ones that we have got at, uh, in the in the show but the fact is you are creating unique bags a step by step they tell you how to do it you don't have to look for patterns you don't have to you know do things for the wording do i have enough don't i have you will create two cosmetic bags or it could be like we say there are so many different uses for them makes a lovely present and you are saving six pounds so 24 pounds and 99 pence remember includes the wording pre-printed wording with those two bags and the zippers that you need to make them all the and you, all you have to do is choose whichever color you want those zippers in 030570 is your item number for the one day special check your baskets out to make sure that you get in the right color right we have uh so we have about two minutes left yeah so if you want to finish it yeah up. should we just try to show you how Absolutely. we to box the corners yeah, yeah? so we're going to keep it back on the line inside and all you're going to do is just fold this out so it lies flat. Okay. Can you see? You can see that top stitch yeah. there and down like that. Now, on, if you're unsure, you can measure down an inch and a half and make a line with your with the ruler yeah. and a pencil, or you can cheat and use the little markings on your sewing machine and keep this point. So most uh, most plates on a sewing machine mm -hmm. have the little markings. So I'm just going to line it up with my one mm -hmm. inch line on there. So I don't even have to sew any. Um, I don't even have to do any markings or anything like that okay. then. So I'm going to line that up on my one inch line and I'm just going to sew across that edge. Okay, like that. And I would back stitch again. Okay. okay, just make sure that you're finishing off. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other corner. So I'm just going to quickly flip that one round. And the other one, which was nice and flat, line it up on the one inch line and sew that down. Okay. And that, all that's going to do is give you some really nice flat corners, yeah. which. Um, well, it's kind of give you that, does, um, yeah. that bigger base into yeah. the bag. So you can, I would just leave these. Now you could, I could have done those on the front if I wanted to, left those flaps on the front, and then you could put a nice decorative button or something yeah. on there and make them a feature. But that is now the base of your bag complete. Okay, you've got that, it's all boxed yeah. in there. And then you just make a little handle which goes through across a little tube and a little handle to go across the top there. And that's your bento bag done. You would top stitch all the way round just to close up that gap as well.
That is so such a cool project. And of course, uh, Sarah has done it about, what, uh, 15 minutes? Oh, it, yeah, you could probably make two or three in an hour. Wow, <laughs> 17 pounds and 99 pence. Remember, you have got the different options for the colors for the Vento bag, 449416. But before we uh, say goodbye for this hour, uh, look at the one day special. Fabulous value for money. You are getting here the printed batting or wadding to, of course, you can make two bags with it. You have two zippers to finish them up and they are those extraordinary pre-zone zippers that makes it so much easier uh, now of course Sarah thank you so much That's you okay. are back at 8 p.m. Yep. with Leone Absolutely. and then 8 a.m. tomorrow Indeed. 12 and 4 p.m. Okay. now stay tuned mm -hmm. for more because we have got ma uh, beautiful product shows across here at Hotanda but do check out your baskets to not miss out into your preferred color zipper and of course that is the one day special now the item number you have got the details there you have saving six pounds so it's fabulous value for money of course with a pre-printed june taylor uh, batting or wadding to create two cosmetic bags so stay tuned for more here at our channel.